updated with that as we head through the morning. Rox? All right, Felicia, let us know if you got to jump back in. Summertime is always fun time, and many of you are making your summer plans, which may include purchasing tickets, whether it's to a Broadway show, a concert, or a basketball game. Be warned, scammers may be lurking. Here with everything you need to know about this is Sherry O. Nice to have you with us. I've Thanks. always wondered, why is it so hard to get t tickets directly from the source? You always have to go through a third party, and then these risks are associated with that. Right. Well, we've basically created this problem because we're willing to pay more money for tickets. And so there's a couple things really contribute to the, contributing to this. On the, f the first, on the front end, is the fact that even when tickets are released, there's usually a hold of at least 15 or 16 percent by the venue or the artist or the team for their friends and family and associates. On top of that, you've got about another 38% of tickets that are actually pre-sold to American Express for their card members and so forth. So over 50% of the tickets aren't even hitting the market, Roxanne. The other thing is we now have these bots that are buying up as many as 1,000 tickets a minute when they're released. And we've got these middlemen who are also trying to resell them. We've created the industry for StubHub and Broadway.com. Those are you know almost a 50% markup sometimes on, on these tickets. And finally, now we're seeing a real emergence of men sort of on the street, the, the right, average right. scammers with phony tickets. I mean, let's face it, you know, a kid could print tickets yeah. with the, the printers we have nowadays. So Probably we're hearing more adults. of that. Yeah. yeah, and you think it's, well, it's not just a, such a big deal. It's just a ticket to a concert. But a lot of people, as you mentioned in the open, will actually travel someplace, particularly this summer, to see a concert, yeah. to see a sports event, to see a show. Hamilton is the hot ticket now. And if you make all that effort to get there and you're at the door, and this is happening, you know, hand them their ticket and they say oh, this is a, yeah, it's not a good thing anything being done about it well here's the thing here in Florida Disney actually made a big push for tickets but more to protect their own bands they didn't want those multi-day uh, park passes being used by more than one person in New York uh, the Attorney General there is making a push against uh, on all of these levels really it's up to the venue if they're gonna allow pre-sales and the artists there's not much you can do with that uh, but they have made the bots illegal, and they're cracking down on the companies breaking the law, increasing the fines, increasing the jail time, that type of thing. Very quickly, but most importantly, perhaps, how do you protect yourself? Well, sure, and the easiest way is the most obvious. Before you pay for a ticket, check out and make sure that you're buying the right venue and time and event. Some of these tickets have just the wrong date, but you want to pay by PayPal or Amex, some way you can check, and if you're buying from an individual, Ask for proof of purchase. Ask them to show you that they actually purchased that ticket. All right. Look at those bullet points, everybody, and try to remember that because so many of us go through those third-party sources to buy things. Right. And you want to make sure you get what you pay for. All right. Thanks, Sherry. Sure. Let's send things over to Felicia for more on this bad